Ico makes some fantastic IEMs, but can they compete in the ever-growing sub-$50 segment with the likes of SimGot, KiwiEars, Fio and KZ? And how does this pair compare with the bigger siblings, the legendary OH10s? Let's find out in my review of the Ico OH300. Hey guys, I'm Ryan Thomas. Ico sent these out for me to review, but they haven't paid me. They haven't got to see this video before you. They haven't told me to say anything nice. And even if they did, I wouldn't do it anyway because I'm a transparent reviewer. So let's go. Let's talk about the Ico Lumina OH300s. These IMs are a single 10 millimeter dynamic, something that Ico does very well, similar to the OH10, really minus the balanced armature. These come with a basic cable and six pairs of tips. The cable I'd say is actually nicer than the ones you get with the OH10 and OH10S, but unfortunately it's QDC and not two pin, meaning you cannot use this with your OH10S, but if you wanted to, you could put the OH10S on this cable, on this cable, on this IEM. So it's a shame, but it, it's a good cable. If you're just buying the OH300s, you should be all right with it. It doesn't stand out as particularly amazing, but it's good enough and that's all we really want. There's no case or anything with these, which is unfortunate, but you do get plenty of ear tips, which I found to be serviceable. The OH300 are quite large shells made of plastic. They have large nozzles and they fit in a very different way to the OH10s. So where the OH10s are fairly shallow and a very short nozzle, these are a longer nozzle and much larger IEMs, though a lot, lot lighter. These are really light for the size, whereas the OH10 and OH10S are very heavy. So they fit in very different ways. Don't expect sort of a, just a cut down version of the OH10s. They are, you know, systematically different. I managed to get about six hours before fatigue started to set in and I had to take them out. This is fairly long and usually I actually last a bit longer with my IEMs, but these ones, the shape is just a little bit more, it's, it's a little less smooth. It's a little more sort of uh, bulbous if yeah, that's probably the best word to describe it your ears might be different sizes and shapes they probably are so you're going to get a different experience your mileage may vary they're not uncomfortable IEMs by any means and actually after six hours I'd recommend taking your IEMs out of your ears and going for a walk or something and just letting your ears breathe a bit but yeah plenty comfortable fairly light with the cable and the, the solid ear hook as well they never felt like they were going to fall out. They never felt loose. They didn't feel you know, really penetrative and really, really uncomfortable. They're a good fit. They also have this weird color change thing going on where if you're in sunlight, the color shifts to like a blue instead of a clear. And the clear shell means that you can actually see the little, little circuit board inside, which is quite cool. It's quite unique. Uh, it's very similar actually to the OH10S. So in that, the Ico OH300 and OH10S look quite unique in that they have that cool color changing thing. Is it for everyone? I'm not sure. It could be a little gaudy, it could be a little bit over the top, but I didn't mind it. It's not particularly offensive. It actually looks quite cool. The sound profile is a lot more intense or maybe a more emphasized version of the OH10. There's oodles of bass and treble, but a clear dip in the mid range. The added sparkle to the treble could cause some fatigue in some listeners. And I would recommend running these in, burning them in for sort of five, 10 hours before you listen to them. I was once not a proponent to the burn in technique, but these days I found that actually you get a very crispy, crunchy sound out of a lot of these IEMs until about two or three hours in, and then they become smoother and more like what you would expect if you were running these long term. So just keep that in mind going forward. Um, I've been sort of testing and burning in IMs for the past maybe five to 10 reviews. So I've been doing that more often and I found I tend to get a more accurate reading of what they actually sound like uh, versus when you just first put them in your ear. The sound profile to these is V-shaped, meaning that you get good amount of bass, good amount of treble and recessed mid-range. This is pretty standard. The sound quality of the OH300s is pretty average, I would say. I mean, there's maybe a bit more bass than most people. I think if you if you're base head, if you're a base head, you would like these. Uh, the treble can be a little bit harsh at times. It's, it doesn't attack you, uh, but it's a little bit, a little bit sharper than some of the others in this price point. And I found that the soundstage, which the OH10s are really known for having an immense soundstage, 
they're quite basic and quite closed in actually on the OH300. So if you were hoping to get sort of just a slightly cut down OH10, you're not really getting that here. You're getting a, it, its own IEM with its own sound profile. Uh, it's just not quite the same. I listened with the ITB03, with the Zendak V2 and with the K, K, the Fio K5 Pro. And what I found was that there wasn't a major shift in how the sound sounded. Um, there didn't seem to be any increase in sound stage or anything like that. This means that when you're gaming, these don't sound crazy immersive. Uh, as I've said in previous videos, I don't think that there's a huge difference in like how you play. But the ICO OH300s sounded close in enough and a small sound stage enough that I'm not sure I would use these for esports gaming. They're usable, you know, most people don't really care about their audio enough for it to matter, but if us sort of weird music heads and stuff uh, want to start getting into the little details, I would say that there are much better sets out there for soundstage. The Simwatt EW200s have a smoother, clearer mid-range, not quite as much bass, not quite as much treble, but not a big enough difference for it to really throw you off. But you get much better soundstage and they, I think, are a better overall pair, especially given you get a little pouch as well and the cable's nicer. So as an overall thing, I'm, I'm not sure... I was going to say I'm not sure I can recommend them. I can recommend them. They're good enough IEMs, the OH300s. I don't think you're going to be disappointed, but I think that you should do your due diligence and check out the other sets on the market because the sub $50 price range is getting more and more competitive. We're getting better sets from more places. I'd actually compare the OH300s to the KZ ZS10 Pros, which I might do a re-review of because I still have those. They are one of my first sets of IEMs. I bought them myself around the same price range and listening to them back uh, recently, actually, because I have a load of IEMs in this price range I wanted to compare them to. The, the ZS10 Pros sound like really good. Uh, and I think make the OH300 sound a little bit cheaper than maybe in a vacuum they might sound. So do your due diligence, check out other sets. I will have lots of reviews of IEMs in this price range coming up very, very soon, which I recommend you watch. Or if you, you don't want to watch my content, watch other people's content, because at the end of the day, what you want is to end up with something you actually feel is worth your money. And I don't want to tell you to go out and buy something if you get it and then you're like, hmm, this isn't actually that good. So check out others, but the OH300s are solid. Uh, thanks to Wico for sending them out because I appreciate them sending them out. A video is coming soon on the OH10S, which I'll do a bit of a comparison with the OH10s on. And yeah, pretty decent, but doesn't blow you away. And it's a shame about the QDC connector. I'm, I'm glad it's a detachable cable. Let's get that out of the way. But I would just much rather that it was a two pin so that I could use this cable in the OH10s, which don't have as nice a cable. Thanks to you for watching. Likes, likes, links will be in the comment section. Links will be in the comment section. Okay, let me try this again. Thank you for watching. Links will be in the description. Please do like, comment and subscribe. And thanks to Echo for sending out the IMs. Their links will be in the description as well. I've been Ryan Thomas and I'll catch you later. Cheers.